Hello everybody and welcome back to the second episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Genoa. It hasn't gone great so far. We currently sit bottom of Syria, but I'm not too disappointed. We've won one game, we've drew a couple, and the performances haven't been too bad. So the first game following that Inter Milan defeat was a 3-0 home win against Spezia. Very, very good this one. Milan Bedell, Eldor with a brace, and things were looking rosy here. Spezia, not the greatest side in the league, but... A handy three points. We then went away from home against arch rivals Sampdoria and won 2 1, but this was in the Italian Cup. Goran Pendev and Eldor with the goals. We then went away from home against Sassuolo and drew 1 0. Uh, Stefano Sturaro had put us in front five minutes in, but Juricic equalised in the 12th minute. We then suffered defeat against Atlanta at home 2 1. A little bit disappointed in this one. Atlanta are a very good side in this league, make no bonds about it, but I was hoping. I was hoping, dreaming of a point against Atlanta. It wasn't a B. Um, Eldor did equalise after Alejandro Gomez put them in front. But they got back in front shortly after that. And we didn't look like the team that was going to win or draw this game. I was looking at this Cagliari game and thinking we, we could maybe pinch something here. But it wasn't a B. We ended up getting beat 1-0. They're actually doing really, really well in the league. Uh, I think they rose to sixth after beating us in this game. So, again, not too disappointed with the defeat. I am a little bit disappointed with this one. A 2 all home draw against Bologna. This was definitely a missed opportunity. They were sitting in 15th at the time of playing. We had a goal disallowed in the 70th minute. That would have put us 3-2 up. But again, it's a point. I can't ask for too much more than that. So that does see the Serie A table looking like this. We are rock bottom on 8 points after 12 games. But I think if you were to look at the games, we've been unfortunate in some. Maybe you'd be fortunate in others. And we've definitely dropped some points, but if you like stuff like the goal difference is a key indicator. We're not getting smashed by teams at all. We're, we're, we're close. The tactic's close to pulling us out of this mess. And with January transfer window coming up, I've already got my eyes on some players. We're going to be fine. I'm telling you now, we're not getting relegated. But unfortunately, I've chosen Napoli away to come back to. Why have I done that? Napoli currently sit in fifth position, one of the best sides in the league. And then we'll play Sampdoria at home, which I will be looking for a win. So let's get into the game against Napoli and pick our side. So Eldor has been one of our most consistent players playing up top for us. He's got six goals in 12 games in Syria. A lot of them coming when uh, we after we've took over. So we're definitely getting the best out of him. And I'm very, very happy to have him in our side. Incredibly well-rounded. Um, reminds us of Cavani from Manchester United. Not, not the same sort of quality, but the same style of player. I've probably been shooting myself in the foot here by forcing Filippo Melagioni into the side. But he's joining us permanently from Atalanta at the end of the season. He's 21 years old. He's Italian with potential. We're, we'd be fools not to get him into the starting eleven. Hope to see him improving. Let's ignore the downward arrows. Uh, he has been injured for a little bit. And he's going to play in defensive midfield for us today as Milan Bedell. No, he's not. He's going to be playing in central midfield. Milan Bedell is going to be playing in defensive midfield. I've been playing him as the box-to-box -box most often. He's got well-rounded stats, obviously, on the lower side. But I'm happy with that. Zappa Costa is playing pretty well for us at right wing back. It's unlikely we're going to be able to sign him, but at 28 years old, would I really want to anyway? Luca Pellegrini is someone who we absolutely must sign, probably in the summer, if at all, um, if Juventus even want to let him go. But he's been playing okay. Attack and midfield is a real issue for me. I don't feel like this boy is good enough. And if we could move him on in... Oh, he's on loan. Of course he's on loan. Um... It's maybe a position where we look to change maybe even the formation just to get him out of the starting eleven. But we'll have to wait and see on that. This is going to be the lineup for today. Then Mattia Perrin in goal, Barashi and Crescito in the defence, Zapacosta, Bedell, Luca Pellegrini in that three. Uh, Sturaro, Melagioni in midfield, Zajic playing behind Eldor and Mattia Destro. Let's get into the match. We're not expecting anything at all out of this. So just a good performance will do. So Napoli come at us. With an absolutely fantastic side. Koulibaly and Manolas, absolute rocks at the back. Dries Mertens playing in beside Oshimen. We are really, really going to struggle against that. Let's see how we get on. First highlight of the game, six minutes in. <laughs> we give the ball away straight away. And Napoli come forward with Victor Oshimen driving at the defence. Geraro gets back though. And we do manage to get clear. Eldor, he's been probably our best player since I've took over the club. Zappa Costa cutting in off that right-hand side. Goes for goal. I've told him not to shoot. They never listen. Another highlight now. 21 minutes in. Our throwing is incredibly poor by Zappa Costa. And it's going to be a Napoli counter-attack. This is where we are the weakest. Our defence probably isn't good enough to be able to play this sort of formation. 
and realistically I should really change it but I don't want to <laughs> it's such a nice attacking formation you get so many link ups because of the high wing backs um, that I don't really want to sacrifice that centre half will be a key area for me in the January transfer window and striker probably um, but if it's only to be one because we do only have 7 million centre half will probably be it Eldor coming forward he gets dispossessed but Sturaro gets onto the loose ball and Napoli uh, this is this is the problem. Oshie men in behind. What a challenge that is. Crescito. I know he hasn't got any legs left, but if he was 25, I'd be absolutely buzzing with him. Free kick for us. We've seen Napoli counter from pretty much every opportunity so far. Zajic goes for goal. Oh, what a strike that was. Good save by David Ospina. Tell you what, looking at the match stats, we've been the better side. 11 shots, 5 on target, 0 0.96 in the expected goal column. I'll beat Napoli, but um, they have definitely got the quality, so uh, I'm not going to read too much into that. We get a highlight or Spainer on the ball. Some decent work down this right-hand side to retain possession for them. We were marking them well, but Dries Mertens finds himself in a pocket of space. Nothing rash Pellegrini. Back to Romani, back to Mertens. Is he going to whip it in? He's not. They're just... They're just torturing me. Fabian does though. Oshi men's there back post. That was offside. Surely that was offside, ref. Get VR. VR? No. <laughs> Victor Oshi men's 10th goal of the season. I would kill to have him right now. Um, some decent play down the right, as we said, for Napoli. And Fabian with an excellent cross. He was... I mean, he was onside, but it wasn't. It deserved a VR check, I think. Oh, highlight before half time. Corner. It's whipped in. Destro's there. Still going. I was sure the first half was over, but two minutes remaining. We have ourselves another highlight. Luca Pellegrini brings that down nicely from Melagoni's head, and he bombs down this left-hand side. He's got all the acres of space. They're not making the challenge. He whips it in. Eldor's there. And that's why Eldor is the Edinson Cavani of Genoa. Shemuradov. Eldor. Eldor's eighth goal of the season. And this is what I really like about the wing-backs. You get a lot of the benefits of having a wide attacking player without having to have a wide attack and play, you know, and it's an excellent cross. Eldor does well to beat his man and beat Ospina. 1-1. One, one. Oh, there's another highlight before half-time, and it's Napoli on the attack. Gulam plays it in, Barashi clears. We get there first. Mattia Destro, he's got absolutely zero support, but we're slowly but surely getting there. One of the massive problems in this team is we've got no place. Destro's shot is incredibly poor. I wish I had the Mattia Destro of, was it FM 2015, when he was an absolute beast. Look at their match stats. We should be winning. Come on, boys. Second half has been incredibly quiet. 20 minutes or so to go. Luca Pellegrini and Zappa Costa are often coming out. We've got Sisbora and we've got uh, Giglione, who won't sign a new contract, even though I would like him to. Um, so we're likely to lose him at the end of the season. But look, uh, look, we deserve to win this game. I'll take a point, though. I'll take a point, football man. Just stop listening. I will definitely take a point in this second half. Absolutely zero. Well, yeah, and a way point against Napoli. I would have absolutely snapped your hand off on that. But we can fail... Pretty aggrieved that we didn't get the win there. Eldor with the goal for us. Absolutely phenomenal performance. Um, I'll see you at the Southampton, uh, Southampton, Sampdoria game. So we're at the Sampdoria game. We do have a couple of issues. Um, our attack midfielder is not fit at all. So Goran Pendev is going to have to come in that attack midfielder role. Sisbor um, is going to have to start on the left-hand side. Uh, Luca Pellegrini is suspended for today's game. Other than that, we're unchanged. But, uh, apart from centre-half, Goldenegger comes in for... Um, Crescito, who is currently a little bit tired. He's got all legs and there's only been a few days in between the matches. I'm a little bit worried with losing Luca Pellegrini. He is one of our main attack and outlets. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how that goes. We're going to be playing Sampdoria, of course, who are the, our local rivals, managed by Claudio Ranieri. Um, let's cheer the boys up. Um, we're, we need a win in this game, I think. We're getting to the point now where, against teams in and around us, we've got to be getting wins, especially at home. Um, let's have a look and quickly see how Sampdoria are lining up against us. They are playing a flat 4-4-2. I have not played against this yet in Serie A. It's not a common formation. I recognise a couple of them faces there. Let's get into the game see how we get on. First highlight of the game comes 13 minutes in. It's a free kick for Sampdoria. Um, deep in their half. Oh, Kandreva with a lovely switch of the player. And Kaita Baldi is there on the left-hand side. I believe he signed from Monaco in the summer for Sampdoria. And that's his second goal of the season to put Sampdoria 1-0 up pretty early on. If we're looking at the match stats, 
I think we had the better of them um, for the first 15 or so, but goals is all that matters. Another highlight now, Sampdoria with a throw in deep in our half. We do get a clear. Eldo can pick it up. We know he can be safe with the ball. <laughs> Kandreva gets past our left-back, Sizbora. Can we get... I mean, is that a shot? I think that counted as a shot. 35 minutes gone. We're dominating this game. We, we really are. We just need to get that opportunity, preferably for Eldo, because we know he can put it away. Melagoni, or oh, lovely little through ball for Sisbora there on the left-hand side. He plays it in. Matai Destro's there. Can't quite get it with Zapacosta. David Zapacosta's first goal of the season. Levels things up. 36 minutes in. More of the same, please. And there we have it. Half-time. Genoa 1. Sampdoria 1. Let's give the fans something to cheer for to deal with. The better side here. We really, really are. We just need, need to get ourselves in front. 60 minutes in. We have our first highlight of the second half. Sturaro with all the time in the world to drive forward through the centre there. Zapacosta joining them. Goran Pendev loses out. We do manage to retain possession though. Melagoni, lovely through ball for Zappa Costa. His second goal of the game. Our right wing back being the absolute hero we need and deserve. We deserve the lead in this game. 2-1, 61 minutes, half an hour to go. Just uh, don't concede the game, boys. Oh, this would be such a huge win. It would get us up to 14th from 20th that we started at today. That would be absolutely massive. 20 minutes left though. Still plenty of time for Sampdoria to get back into this. Vidal finds Zapacosta again on this right-hand side. We're very, very narrow, but that's fine by me. We're overloading them in the centre. Pandev to Eldor on the edge. Destro, shot is blocked. Who's that, Sisbora? Oh, our left wing back can't do what a right wing back can. With only 10 minutes or so to go, we will look to get some fresh legs out there. Sturaro can come off for Larega in the centre of midfield. Zapacosta for Giglione. Uh, Melagioni, do we really want to take him off? Rado Vanic is old, but he's very, very defensively minded. So we'll stick him in the centre of midfield and hopefully he can keep things shored up for us. Time is just taking away. Sampdoria really offering nothing coming forward. And now we have it then. Genoa 2, Sampdoria 1. We win the uh, the derby. And as you can see, both games, it's coming, boys. You can feel it. We're going to go on a run here. Once we get some good players, <laughs> I think this tactic will really kick in the gear and move us up the league table. And now we have it to end today's episode. There is the league table. We rise to 14th position. Two points clear from Bologna in 18th. And I think we've had a decent start to life uh, since we took over. Two defeats, three wins, three draws. I think we can be happy with that. We're, we're on a B, so the board are at least happy. Looking forward to the next episode then. I think it's going to be Benevento and Verona. But of course, it'll be a massive, massive episode as we review, hopefully, some January transfer activity with some big incomings. I don't want to big it up too much. We've only got 7 million. <laughs> but anyway, lads, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.